the moment, it seems that every day brings worse news than the day before. Every morning we wake up to horrifying numbers of people who are dying from coronavirus. But there is something odd in current data, and that is that the deaths as a percentage of cases varies quite wildly across first world countries. Germany is vastly different from France, for example, which is again vastly different mm -hmm. from the United States. So people are beginning to wonder why this is and questions are being asked about the accuracy of the numbers that we're being given. Well, given the scenario that we find ourselves in, it's not surprising that Re truly accurate data can be deciphered at the moment. And the reasons are primarily these. First of all, symptoms. The symptoms of coronavirus are the symptoms of the flu. And that is sore throat, headache, fever, etc. Uh, but they are also the symptoms of several other illnesses. And the problem we have is this. The, the severity of symptoms also widely differs in coronavirus. So we have a situation where people may well have had a mild version of coronavirus recovered and never known. We may have had people with symptoms who didn't seek out any help. At the moment, the only people being tested for coronavirus or have been tested for coronavirus are hospitalised people with significant symptoms. So it's really difficult to pin down coronavirus from symptomatology because these symptoms are so common and not everyone will have sought medical advice. There's also, of course, a difference between people who die who happen to have contracted coronavirus and people who die from coronavirus. So let's take, for example, you have an elderly person with several chronic underlying conditions who is diagnosed with coronavirus and then they die. That death is being recorded as a coronavirus death at present, even though a flu or another virus may very well also have killed that person with those underlying conditions. This is very different from someone who is in full health, uh, is infected with coronavirus and then dies. Yet all of these deaths are being recorded as coronavirus deaths. It's very, very difficult to know exactly what we are dealing with. And the government, all governments around the world, have my sympathy in dealing with this because they are in uncharted territory day after day after day. And we simply don't know the numbers that we are dealing with yet. Given the seriousness of this, given the freedoms that have been taken away from us as a result of this, I think it's very, very important that data becomes as accurate as possible as soon as possible so we can see what we are dealing with how to get ourselves back to normal and how to stop these things happening again we need to know and we need to know very very soon exactly what's going on at present it is very difficult to find this information let's hope we find it as soon as we can